Please let me know if this stressful situation happened to you as well. A student of mine, Choi, he landed a product manager offer in a startup. And half a year later, Amazon reached out saying that, hey, do you want to interview with us to become a senior product manager at Amazon? He was very excited about this opportunity, but at the time, he has only worked for a startup for half a year, and the startup actually sponsored his green card. He was so afraid that he didn't know how to answer this question, why did you want to make, make a change so quickly? Uh, why did you want to leave your current employer, given you're only working there for half a year? He was also very afraid that people might think, well, maybe he's not doing a good job over there, and he may not be very loyal to his employer. In reality, he just doesn't want to bad mouth about his old employer. So he felt it very difficult to really answer these interview questions. But guess what? He was able to use the right strategy to answer this question and eventually land a senior product manager offer at Amazon. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top six strategies how to answer this kind of challenging questions. Why did you leave your current employer within a year? And why are you looking for change so quickly? Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, the founder of Product Manager Accelerator from DrNancyLee.com. I help people transition from worker bee to product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become product manager, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. If you like any of the tips I provide today and land your dream offer, please make sure to uh, share this video and give a thumb up. Let's get started. Step number one, I want you to start to prepare for upcoming interview questions at Amazon and other fan companies. Please make sure to download this top 50 interview questions that fan companies and so that you know what to expect and use those for your mock interview practices. You can see the link of this top 50 interview questions in the description of this video. When the great opportunities like this, senior product manager and Amazon was presented in front of you. I want you to understand you should never let those opportunities slip in through your finger, especially if it is your dream company. The interview process might be very challenging, but it's okay. I'm here to help you, but I want you to really be prepared and go after those most important opportunities in front of you. Tip number two, I want you to emphasize on the growth opportunities. Even if you have only worked for your current company for six months or so, when you interview for the next company, I want you to talk about how much more growth opportunity you can get in your new companies. For example, you can say the following. I want to continue to develop myself in my future job. I have been a great product manager in terms of launching ABCD product or growing certain market by 30%. And now I want to apply this strategy and increase the scope of work by impacting more people. You can also say that you like to see the bigger end-to-end -end product life, uh, life cycle. In your current company, you only see one part of it. And right now, in the new opportunities in Amazon, you might be able to see the entire end-to-end -end product management life cycle. So everything you tell them is based on the growth opportunities in your new job. When we talk about the growth opportunities, I want you to understand the full roles and responsibilities of product manager in large scale company. So I want you to watch this video to understand the full roles and responsibilities so that you know which one to emphasize when you have this kind of interviews coming up. Tip number three, you can talk about the passion for the new industry. For example, you can say something related to the new industry you're about to join. Use Choi as an example. He was in the fintech industry. Now he's joined Amazon in the tech and the cloud space. So it's an industry shift. He can focus on how much more he likes this new industry. For example, you can say, I like the fast paced environment in the technology industry and using cloud to scale and help lots of big enterprise and small businesses to move to the cloud environment. And this will enable my end customers to bring the product to the hands of customers much faster. I have gained A, B, C, D skills as a product leader in the fintech industry. I like to apply this kind of skill set in the tech industry I am very passionate about. So that here he emphasized on the passion for the new industry and those kind of transferable skills. So comment below and help me to understand what are the reasons would you use when we talk about why would you look for a change? Tip number four, you can talk about the change of location. For example, if anybody asks me, hey Nancy, why do you want to move from Boston to San Francisco and get a new job in Google? I will talk about, you know what? I've been living in Boston for 11 years. Have you experienced the cold winter of Boston? It lasts for six months. 
I'm looking for new sunshine, actually. So anything you can talk about in terms of the contrast of the locations and you're looking for a change, um, especially for anybody who's in California, they're very proud to hear that, oh yeah, we had the best weather, Boston, <laughs> we have lots of snow, but there's pros and cons for each city. So you just need to talk about the specific things related to the location. Tip number five, you can also talk about the significant others getting a new job in a new company or a new city. In this way, you're not going to emphasize on why you want to quit your job. It's more about as a family, we need to make a group decision. She moved, I want to move with her as well. This is just a temporary solution for our whole family to build a better family in a different city. Tip number six, never bad mouth about your current employer or your current boss. Hmm, great resume. I've seen that you're very successful in Amazon. Why do you want to leave Amazon? Jeff Bezos cheated on his wife. I hate it! My boss showed me lots of pictures of his nanny. Very creepy. Even if this might be the truth, please, please don't do this because the future employer might think, oh, once you leave my company, in this case Amazon, you're going to join a new company and badmouth about Amazon. This is not good for the company branding. So you should never say it or even hint that you don't like your current company. In contrast, you can still talk about how much you like your current job, but you're looking for a growth opportunities and even nothing to complain. It's more about you hit the growth ceiling in your current company. If you are an entrepreneur, please try not to talk about your failure. Um, it is true, startup fail many times, but I want you to talk about the transferable skills you can bring to the new company and that you want to join a really bigger company to see product scale much faster. Do you have a product manager interview coming up? And especially with your dream fan companies, please make sure to download this top 50 product manager interview questions database in fan companies so that you know what to expect in those interviews and use those for your mock interviews. If you like any of the tips I provided today, please make sure you hit the like button and share this video with any aspiring product managers because this video might be able to change so many people's lives by helping them landing their dream job offer. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm going to see you next time. Bye.